All right, so we went from the easy stuff to the medium network stuff to now the a bit hard stuff. So what we're going to do now is I've covered up my IP. I actually have to make, make this video twice because um, I was actually showing my IP, which, again, I don't want to do because I don't want everyone to go on my server. Um, I don't want everyone to just clog it up. Um, so anyways, uh, you're not everyone needs to port forward so this video is just on port forwarding only people usually with routers need to port forward most modems don't have routers so let's go into definitions the modem is the thing that lets you connect to the internet like the DSL or the cable modem the router takes your connection and splits it into four or five so the benefit of that is you can use like your Xbox your Vonage anything else that needs internet all at once if you didn't have the router it would just be your modem and your computer and that's it you couldn't do Xbox Live, you wouldn't be able to do um, your Vonage which is your voice over IP calls I mean so the the router allows you to go ahead and um, give internet to other things in your home it also in my case since it's a wireless router it allows me to send the signal into the living room so that my laptop can get internet as well so it's you know you have free wireless in your home which is pretty cool um, so yeah just to test if you don't have a router you know or you're let's say you're just lazy you don't you don't know about computers you know or let's say you're a young kid you're 12 years old and you just wanna you know get through this you can go to this site called can you see me dot org and you t you it'll show you your IP which I've got covered here it says what port just type in your port here is the first two letters of my IP type in your port which in our case is 25565 and it's gonna tell you if it's blocking it or not so in my case look it's green I don't want to show too much of my IP it said success if yours says error failure then that means you're, you're blocking that IP and it, anyways to do this test you need your server open if your server is not open you won't be able to connect to to that port in the first place it'll just give you an error so open your server do this test and see if it lets it through if it lets it through you're done you don't need to port forward but like most of us like me and I'd say 60 percent of everyone who's watching this video you need to port forward so let me stop my server I'm gonna stop it right now server stop closed all right I'm gonna close this web page too so uh, here is my Linksys page because I have a Linksys router. Most of you will have that too. So to get to that page, you need to go to 192. You have to come up here, 192.168.1.1. 1. 192.168.1. You press enter, and it'll take you to this page. First, it'll ask you for a login. Just type in and admin as your username. Don't put a password. Press enter. If you do have a password, put your password. In. All right. Now you need to go to applications and gaming and then you need to go here to where it says what application do you want to use what starting address what ending address so I the application name doesn't matter I put Minecraft 25565 25565 both and it's gonna ask you what do you want as your IP address so to know the answer to this you have to check your IP address you can't just put this in you also have to check enable or disable if you wanna switch between them so definitely enable so how did I know to put 101 there? I went to command prompt, which is just start CMD in the bottom corner, press enter. There's another one. Once you come here, you do IP config, and you go to the IPv4 address. It says dot .101. You see that? That dot .101, you need to put here. The dot's already there, and you just put the 101. Got it? So once you do that, you're telling it that hey on this this first door of mine this local one not the second door not the not the one your friends connect to but my door the local door I want this port to be open and only when I'm accessing that program so now whenever I make my server my servers gets internet access through my router so it can actually broadcast the signal through this port a port is just like a hole that allows you to get to the internet and this is a specific hole 25565 okay 
Um, once you do that, you just press save settings and it saves your settings. Done. You've port forwarded. Now to test it, you have to give your IP to a friend. And again, let's go over how do you give them your IP. You go to what's my IP. And here, this is an example. Where's that example again? Let's go to the cached. Someone already went to this page, and that person, this is their IP. That's what, This is a cache, which is a save of Google going to this page and figuring out you know, what their IP was. So let's pretend this is your IP. You're going to have to go to this page, whatismyip.com, copy it, and you tell your friend, hey, if you want to connect to my Minecraft server, I need you to go to this, and don't forget to add the colon, the two dots that are vertical, 25565. Then you give them this whole link, this whole thing, you give all of this to them. So for this example, it was 66249721919, and then colon 25565. Don't forget the dots, make sure they're in the right place. Once you give this whole thing to them, your friends will go on Minecraft, they'll go on the multiplayer area, they'll type that in, they'll press connect, and boom, they're on your server. So there you go, three easy steps. One, get craft book it. Two, figure out the differences between your local door, which is how you connect to your server, and your IP, your your uh, visible IP, which is how, the IPv4, which is how, well, not the IPv4, but the visible IP the one you get at whatsmyip.com that's the one your friends connect to and then your friends will put theirs in this is mine because I, I can't put my if I were to put this code in there I would not get in if I put this code here in minecraft minecraft would say no that's that's incorrect so you have to go through your door and your friends have to go through their doors so there you go go to canyouseeme.org again make sure that your port is open if it's not open you have to go to your router and you have to open that port. If you need help with opening ports, you can always go to portforward.com. Now, for anyone that's on Vonage, Vonage is seen as a second router. So if you have any issues with Minecraft, this is what you need to do, Vonage users. Vonage users need to connect the Vonage to the router and the modem to the router and the computer to the router. Got it? It, what my old setup was modem, Vonage, router. That's incorrect. By doing that, I created two routers. I was not able to port forward. So you, what you need to make sure is if you have Vonage or any sort of voice over IP, if you, have, you need to make sure that the router is the only thing standing in your way to go to the Internet. So for me, my computer goes to the router, and then it goes straight to the modem. Before, it went to the router, then it went to Vonage, then it went to the modem, which is a big issue. So I mentioned that because I went through hell trying to figure that out. Um, and anyone else, just make sure your computer only goes through the router to the modem. Or for those who don't have a router, it's even easier. You don't even have to port forward. Just go from the computer straight to the modem. You'll be fine. I'd say a good 20, 30 percent of you, they just go from straight from the computer to the modem. For you guys, most likely your port's open, you can go test it, like I said, open your server, test it, see if the port's open, or you can just test it by, you know, going to your IP, give it to your friends, tell your friends to connect. If they can connect, there you go, your port's open. So yeah, that is it for my tutorial. Definitely check me out on Justin TV. it's justintv slash Immortal Phoenix. Um, I'm going to be putting a few more tutorial guides, hopefully, on this page. This was specially requested by Cranky. He subscribed and you know followed me on Justin TV, and I told him you know that I would definitely do this tutorial. So thanks to Cranky, you guys all have this tutorial now. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. I'll try to get to them as soon as possible. And again, get your craft book it. Figure out the differences between your local door and your IP door, and then port forward. If you can do all three of those and you follow these videos and you know I can help you along the way if you have questions, you can just send me a message. Um, then you'll be set and you'll have your crack server up. And then you can always go and look up plugins too. There's all sorts of plugins, you know. All right, so take care, everyone. Um, and that'll do. This is the first tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy.